Hello, my dear students, welcome to our YouTube channel. I hope everyone wrote the exam well. So today we have to see the answer to the bioscience key paper in this video. Share this video to all your friends and if there are any doubt then comment in the comment box and also subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. Section 1. Question number 1. Write any two materials required to conduct an experiment to observe the internal structure of the mammalian heart. Answer. 1. Specimen of heart of sheep, goat, 2. Soda straws, 3. Sharp and long blade, scalpel. Question number 2. Write any two biological principles to be followed by the farmers in your surroundings for controlling pests. Answer. Using organic farming methods like rotation of crops. Biological control. Introducing natural predators or parasites of the pests. Question number 3. What will happen if moisture and hairs are absent in the nasal cavity of human being? Answer. The hairs present in nasal passage trap the dust particles present in the inhaled air thus allowing only the filtered air to enter into the body. Mucus moistens the air and traps dust particles and kills the bacteria. Section 2 Question number 4. Write four differences between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Answer. Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. Complete oxidation of glucose. End products are CO2 and water. Lot of energy is liberated. 38 ATP occurs in plants and animal cells. Anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. Incomplete oxidation of glucose end products are either ethyl alcohol or lactic acid and CO2. Relatively small energy is liberated. 2 ATP occurs in many anaerobic bacteria and human muscle cells. Question number 5. Explain any two artificial propagation methods you observed in your daily life with examples. Answer. Cuttings. A piece of the stem or branch having bud is cut off from the parent plant. When the lower part of such cutting is buried in moist soil, it grows as an individual plant after developing roots, X, rose, hibiscus. Grafting. It is a technique where two plants with desirable characters are joined to continue their growth as a single plant. The grafted upper part is called the scion and the lower part which forms the roots is called stalk. Plants with desirable characters can be produced. Grafting is commonly used in cultivation of flower and fruit yielding plants. Question number 6. Observe the picture given below and answer the following questions. 1. Name the scientist who conducted the experiment given in the above picture. Answer. F. W. Went. 2. Which phytohormone was discovered by the above experiment? Answer. Oxen. 3. Write the effect of the phytohormone identified in the above experiment on plants. Answer. Cell elongation. 4. In the above experiment, name the material placed. Answer. Agar block section 3 question number 7. Explain the evidence of evolution with examples. Answer. Evolution is a slow change in inherited characters of a population over a long period of time. Evolution may occur due to genetic variation, natural selection, adaptation, geographical changes and many more. Evidences of evolution Evidences from embryology There are remarkable similarities in the embryos of different animals from fish to man. The resemblance is so close that at an early stage even an experienced embryologist would find difficulty to distinguish one embryo from the other. Fossils minus they represent plants and animals that lived millions of years ago and are now extinct. Different aged rock sediments contain fossils of different life forms, which probably died during the formation of the particular sediment. Comparative anatomy and morphology minus it shows evidences of the similarities and differences between living forms of today and that of the prehistoric times. Some of the examples of comparative anatomy and morphology are homologous organs minus all mammals share the same pattern of forelimbs. Though they perform different functions, they are anatomically similar. This is called divergent evolution and the structures are called homologous structures, common ancestors. Analogous organs minus the pair of organs is not anatomically similar, but performs the same function. Example, the wings of butterflies and birds. This is called convergent evolution. Question number 8. Draw a label diagram of internal structure of human kidney and explain the structure. Answer. Kidneys are the main organs of the human excretory system. It is a reddish-brown bean-shaped organ that is situated just below the rib cage, one on each side of our spine. Each kidney is made up of millions of microscopic units called nephrons which deal with the formation of urine from the blood. The following are the main parts of the kidneys. Renal pelvis. There is a broad funnel-shaped space inner to the hilum, 
This space is called the renal pelvis. There are two zones inside the kidney, the cortex and the medulla. Cortex. It is the outer region of the kidney, between the renal capsule and the renal medulla, and consists of a space that contains blood vessels that connect to the nephrons. Medulla. The inner region of the kidney is known as the medulla. It is split up into a number of sections, known as the renal pyramids or medullary pyramids. Ureta. The ureters are a pair of narrow tubes that carry urine from the two kidneys to the urinary bladder. Renal artery and renal vein. The renal arteries and veins are large blood vessels that carry blood from our heart to our kidneys. The renal artery brings the impure blood containing waste substances into the kidney and the renal vein carries away the pure blood from the kidney. Question number 9. Explain the procedure and precautions of the experiment to prove oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis. Answer. Procedure. 1. A healthy branch of hydrilla is taken in a funnel, invert the funnel in a beaker of water and then invert a test tube over the stem of the funnel. 2. It should be kept immersed inside the water. 3. Now leave the beaker in sunlight for some time. 4. It is observed that some bubbles rise from the test tube which shows the presence of oxygen. 5. When we show a glowing matchstick to the collected air, it burns brightly too as oxygen is required for combustion. Precautions. Setup should be kept in sunlight. The level of water in the beaker should be over the level of stem of the inverted funnel. While removing the test tube, place your thumb near the mouth of the test tube to prevent the escape of gas, oxygen, evolved and remove gently. I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude to each and every one of you who have watched, shared, and supported my video. Your kind words and feedback inspire me to keep creating and sharing content that I hope brings value to your lives. Thank you for being a part of my community and for your continued support. I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Your support means the world to me. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch, like, and comment on my content. Your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more videos for you all. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me.